Hi friends! One of my favorite parts of any celebration is the cake, especially when I'm at a wedding. Of course, it's always delicious to eat, but what I love most is looking at the ornate decorations. A gorgeous cake makes a perfect centerpiece for any party. Stampin' Up! has made it possible for you to create your own gorgeous cakes using paper and ink instead of flour and sugar when you use the Cake Soiree bundle. Let's start by looking at the stamp set. The Cake Soiree stamp set includes 18 stamps, so it's a big set. It's hard to see how everything works together on the cases, so I stamped everything out for you. Let's talk about the greetings first. This is a very versatile set that will work well for just about any occasion that requires a cake. These flowers are pretty intricate, and since this is a red rubber set, I would recommend having your Stampin' Magic handy, because there isn't a lot of room for error on these. So you'll want to have your Stampin' Majig so you can line those up precisely. The set also includes two different shapes of leaf, a standard leaf, and one that looks a little bit more like a frosting leaf. And then there are a couple of flourishes and this beautifully wrapped present. This one is a lot of fun to color with your Stampin' Blends, so it's a gorgeous set. The second half of this bundle is the Sweet Cake Framelits dies. This is a set of 16 dies, and I'll show you how the dies work with the stamp set. 10 of the framelits are designed to cut out the stamped images, like you see here. And for the leaves and these two flowers, you actually get two framelits, so it's easy to do multiples. Now the other six will give you new images to work with. We've got some additional leaves and flourishes here. These two make a cake stand, and there's a bow and another flower in that same style but a different size in the stamps. And finally, this gorgeous tag. When you pair the stamp set and framelits together, you can create breathtaking projects like we've done here. I love the shaker card with the glimmery frosting. And look at how that sparkles. We created that using embossing paste and the Sweet Soiree decorative masks. There are two masks in the set. One is a beautiful floral pattern that will look very elegant as a background. The second mask has several smaller images on it that coordinate with the Cake Soiree bundle. A rose and some candles that will go on top of your cake. And then these images here are actually different types of frosting designs you can use to decorate your cake. And they are perfectly sized to fit on the top and bottom tiers of your cake. So you can just take your mask and line those right up. There's a couple different designs there, and they will all fit beautifully on those cake tiers. You can use plain white embossing paste, or we have a couple of other fun options for you. There is silver and a shimmery white. I don't know if you can see that glimmer in there, but they are so shimmery and beautiful. Let me show you again how that looks on a finished card. We've done the cake first and just the shimmery polka dot frosting. Or another option is those fun swirly layers. Or you can combine those two like we've done in this project. We've got the frosting dots on the bottom and then we did the swirly layers on the acetate to make the shaker card. The embossing paste and masks are definitely going to add some fun elements to your creations. If you can't wait to get started creating some gorgeous cakes of your own, contact your demonstrator or visit stampinup.com to order your cake soiree bundle today. Happy stamping!